Hey guys, how you going? Hope you're all doing very well. This evening I'm going to be doing yet another movie review, so hopefully you find this one interesting. This movie is a drama slash horror from Iceland, Icelandic language English subs, released in the year 2021, directed by Valdemir Johansson, and this film is called Lamb. So Lamb is about a married couple, they're farmers, they tend to their land in the remote wilderness in Iceland. They also look after their livestock, but they've had something catastrophic happen in their past where they've had a void, and they've never been able to fill that void since, so there's a certain le level of depression within the both of them. But then one day they're going to get the opportunity to fill that void, in the form of a lamb that's just been born. Now this lamb defies uh, nature and it's unlike anything they'd ever thought they'd witness, but then they realize an opportunity to, uh, to adopt this lamb as their own. So they think it's gonna fill the void and it does work in the short term, but unfortunately there's a reality that they've been ignoring. And the more they ignore that reality, the more that reality is becoming very dangerous. And so whether or not they pass the point of no return is something you're gonna to have to find out for yourself because that's as far as I'm going with my synopsis. Now my thoughts on Lamb. I'd actually been uh, anticipating this movie for a very, very long time. It actually took quite a while to be released here in Australia, but I was really excited because on the in the trailer, it looked like a really, really crazy film, a really silly movie. But then when I realized Numi Rapace was actually the main character in this movie, I thought, okay, there has to be something a little bit more to this. Numi Rapace is a very well-established actress. She was in the original Girl the Dragon Tattoo, Swedish trilogy of films that I thought were brilliant. That was since remade in the United States. And she's also acted in a lot of English speaking films. So she is a recognized name and when you become a recognized actress uh, you do take a risk if you're actually going to take a project that's really really stupid it can actually downgrade your name and so I thought okay Numi Rapace in a movie where the trailer looked really insane maybe this movie was going to surprise me but I didn't really have the expectation that it was going to be great you know it is an Icelandic film and Iceland have made some really good movies in the past but I wasn't expecting this movie to be anything mind-blowing but I was hoping that maybe it'd have a few tricks up its sleeve. So after finally watching this movie, I will say that I was really surprised at how soul-searching this movie was. This was actually a very serious film that is disguised amongst all the silliness, but the silliness had a really strong message, and that message is humans playing God, humans feeling as though they are actually above animals. And basically, we're all animals, but when humans decide to take the upper hand, that can have repercussions. And I thought this movie really symbolized that in a way where the line between humans and animals was very fine and I thought that the behaviors were very similar and when it starts to integrate with each other I thought it was that it was a ticking time bomb and so this movie does have that symbolic meaning that actually makes it really really serious I thought the movie has some issues that I'll go into a little bit later but overall it's not as silly as the trailer would suggest and so if you go into this movie expecting just a really stupid experience you're going to be pleasantly surprised and so I really like the sense of impending doom and that is down to the fact that they were defying the laws of nature and also not facing their reality. And re they're not facing reality is like a tumor. It's gonna grow if it's not being attended to. So if you're not gonna tend to the reality and you're trying to ignore that reality, it's gonna become worse when you actually finally have to face that reality. And so I thought that sense of impending doom and the evolution of the dangerous presence was really off-putting. It was really nervous, uh, nerve wracking. It invoked a level of anxiety. And so the anxiety is throughout the whole film. I thought the tone was very, very uh, consistent. And just the elevation of that sense that, okay, that tumor is getting bigger and bigger. Eventually you're gonna have to face it. But when they actually face it, I thought that created a lot of suspense. And so the film really worked. And I thought uh, as I was one of the more, ex uh, surprising experiences I've had in quite a while. I thought it had a very melancholic feel to the film. The colours were very dreary, had a very harsh environment in the farmland of Iceland. It's a very unforgiving landscape. And the unforgiving landscape gave the film a certain sense of coldness. And that cold environment was a symbolism of what this married couple were going through. There was something in their life that happened that's very vague. So it does pose a lot of questions and curiosity and that helps sustain your interest. And so when it starts to spiral and you start to learn a little bit more about this family you get a strong sympathetic quality and you can understand why this couple have done what they've done but when you compensate for something with something that's never going to work as i said this is where it's, it is throws in that sense of reality and that reality you have to tend to it straight away because it's just going to grow there is a saying a stitch in time saves nine and that's something that this married couple really had to face but because of their situation they didn't want to face that they wanted to make they wanted to believe that their future was going to be happily ever after 
But deep down, they knew that they couldn't sustain this way of living. And so the more they ignored it, the more, as I said, that impending sense of danger and doom was surrounding their, their house. And this house was set in a very isolated environment. And that sense of isolation was the mentality of everything going on. And so I just thought that was really, really well done. It was the most surprising aspect. I thought Numi Rapace uh, and the, the uh, her husband in the film, I thought they were, uh, again, very melancholic. The whole film has a very heavy feeling. And so there's not a lot of emotions thrown in there, but I felt as though this is a couple that had good chemistry and they were trying to live their life. But as I said, their newfound sense of happiness was only going to be short lived. And so nothing was ever really promised. The movie does have a score that I thought was very haunting. And there are some scenes that are bloody. And as I said, that everlasting sense of doom was always present. So it does give you a horrific sort of theme that actually outplays in a way that I actually thought goes down a horror trope. But if you go into the film expecting a traditional horror film, you're gonna be disappointed. As I said, that uh, the defying nature and the aspect and the themes of this movie are horrific, but it's not a straight out horror film. It's more of a dark sort of character study of people going through trauma. So you have to be very careful. The movie does market itself as number one, a very silly film, and number two, a very dark and horrific film, but it can be a little bit misleading. So you have to be very careful. But if you go into the right expectations, I thought the curiosity sustained my interest uh, from start to finish. It never outstayed its welcome. So that was all very good. If I have a problem uh, with Lamb, the biggest problem is the fact that it is very a novel, it's a novelty. And once that novelty wears off, you start to think, all right, well, I don't really need to watch it again. So it is a movie about coping with hardships and, you know, they said compensating with things that are never going to work. But after you get over the novelty of what is going on in this film, you think, all right, well, that was memorable because of how insane it was, but it just doesn't have a lot of replay value. The melancholic feel of the film, actually, it, it would be a chore to get through on repeated viewings. And so that's what the reason why I thought as though it kind of, it's not a brilliant movie because that sense of melancholia does make a certain sense of emptiness. And the emptiness is very deliberate, but it just, as I said, it just doesn't have that replay value. And the memorability of this film is more a case of the novelty and just the insane idea as opposed to the characters involved. And so that was the reason why it wasn't brilliant, but it's certainly one of the more creative films that will make you think. If it sounds like your kind of thing, highly recommended. I'm going to give Liam three and a half stars. All right, guys, that's it for my review. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, keep watching movies, and I'll see you later.